In this video, we are going to be working with monograms. So I am going into my Creative Fabrica. I have the all access. I'll have a link below for that. Um, and I found, I just searched monogram here and I found so many great monograms, but the, you got to look here. This one says fonts. So this one is a font, Sophia monogram. So I downloaded that and I actually uploaded it into my Canva so that I can show you that. But then you also have um, that are, let's go into graphics here. So we'll change that to graphics. And so you also have graphics. So I am going to upload this one here, the Mr. and Mrs. right here. I downloaded it and I will upload it into my Canva to show you how to do that. And then, like I said, there are so many great monograms like this that are fonts. So this one I already did. So let's see if I can find that here. And this one is called Sophia Monogram, and you can see it here. Where, where did I see it here? Ah, oh, right here. No, well, um, just like this, just like this one. This is a monogram, also font. And we are going to upload this one into Canva. I'll show you how to do that. But let's go back to this one here that I already uploaded. And you can see that I've changed that to an S. So let's change it to an M, my last name here. And I changed it to blue. <clears throat> so to change the color, you just highlight the um, item there and then you go to color and you can change it to whatever you want if you want it black or a lighter blue or whatever you want um, you can just change it there and then you would be able to add a text box here and we can add we're not going to use monogram on that one but you can see that that came in as that Sophia monogram again um, and we are going to change this to Myers, but let's pick a different font here. Since that one is a script, I'll pick a different font that might look okay with this. So I'll put Myers. I don't know if this will look good or not. And I don't think I spelled it right, but I'll stretch it out. Oh, yeah, I did. So you can see it here. I don't like that font, but you're going to get the idea here. And you can move it in. So now I'd have to shrink this down. And of course, this isn't a font that I would probably use in here, but I just want to give you the idea of how you do this. And then I can add another text box, say, and let's see what other font we can use here. Um, hmm. Let's try this Everglow and I'll do established 1981. And so you could move this down here stretch it out i don't like that font in here but I mean, it gives you an idea of how this works so then we can change this let's see if i can change this to the same one as this chiffon cake change this to chiffon cake up to recently used here that's what's really nice is um it shows you what you've recently used oh it's not going to do it for that one so go to chiffon cake right here. Now that kind of looks good with that because it matches the um, Myers in there. Let's see if I can change this one to that too. No, I don't like the script on that. But anyway, you get the idea of how you can do that. So this M was a font. It is not a um, PNG. So now let's go back in here and I will show you some of the things that I've uploaded already. I uploaded some uh, images here. This is a PNG image and um, got the M here. So I wanted to just show you something that you could do with this. So now I'm going to do control C on that. When I've got it highlighted, I hit Control and C because I copied it. So now if you needed this area to be bigger in the center here, you can go up like this, and then I can move this one up, and then I can uh, Control V, and then I can do the same thing here and move this one down. And then you have a bigger work area 
make sure that these are lined up there. So then um, you could uh, make your name bigger or whatever, you know, um, let's insert a text box here to show you what I mean. And so we can stretch this out, this text box, get it bigger and get it centered. And then we'll change the font on this as well. Um, so I could change this to, let's just change it to anything. I don't like that. I'll go back. Uh, let's see. Well, you could change it to whatever you want in here and then stretch it out to be as big as you want it to fit in there. But you get the idea of how you can move these around by changing that in there. So now let's go to a new design here. I'll go to home and I'll start a new document again, the eight by eight. And now let's upload this Alina monogram. So you can see that I downloaded it here. We've got it right here. So now I've already unzipped it. So now what I'm gonna do, I'll go to my Canva here and I'm gonna hit text box here cause I wanna add a text box. Now right here where it says Canva Sans, you click on that. And then at the bottom down here, it says upload a font. And so now I will go to my align a monogram here and I want the open type file. That's just a newer version of these fonts. And so, yes, we have permission to use this because I have the Creative Fabrica all access. And so now that has uploaded that in here. So let's find this right here. This should be a line of monogram, and you can see how it brought those in with the letters that were already in there. So let's stretch this out so you can see it here a little bit better. It says um, your text or whatever here. So let's change this to an M. So I will make this bigger, and that is how you bring in a font. So you can do that with any kind of a font. Now this one, it's not gonna let us split because the split is only on this side. Oh, so you can't you can't split these font ones, but um, you could work with this anyway. So let's get this in the middle here and I'll make it a little bit bigger, stretch it out and let's see what we can do with this. I have not worked with this font yet. So let's go up here to color. See if we can change the color. Yep, you can change the color. You can do everything with this the same. You can add a new text box and um, change the font to whatever you want here. Let's change the font to something not script, but bigger than what we had before. I don't like this one, but let's just pull it in so you can get the idea here. And it brought it in as the color of that font. So we can change that as well. But um, you get the idea here. I don't like this font in there, but, um, and let's see if we can change this color here. Let's change that to black. Yes, yeah, so you can, there are so many things that you can do. And again, this was a font, the align a monogram. So now we know how to do that. So now let's go and start with a new design here again, go home and go to custom size and I'll pick my eight by eight again. Now let's work with some of these monograms that we have. Now remember, I downloaded this Mr. and Mrs. SVG monogram. I have not uploaded it yet. So let's go to upload here and I will go to upload files and I'll go to my downloads and here it is. So I'm gonna bring this in. That's as easy as that, you bring it in. So let's use this one, let's work on this one. So let's stretch this out. And um, there are some things that I wanna change on here. So let's just say that I wanna get rid of some of this design. So let's go to edit here. And again, I do have the Canva Pro. So I have um, the option of magic eraser and a few things like that. So let's get rid of the bride here and the groom. Just go over it with the brush here and I'm gonna change my brush size cause that's too big. Well, let's go over this, I don't like that in there. 
just changing it up here. You can do whatever you want. All right, so now let's get rid of this as well. And just go with this here. And now I'm gonna hit erase and bring this into my design. There's so much that you can do. So, okay, I like that. So let's go back and we have our design now. So now I have Mr. and Mrs. And I can add a text box here. Um, uh, let's put um, Myers in there. Myers and move this down and I'll stretch it out. And then you got to decide what font you want in there. So let's find a font that'll look okay with that script above. Um, let's scroll down. These are all, most of these are all fonts that I've uploaded from Creative Fabrica. And there are also fonts that come with Canva, but um, you can bring in any fonts that you want from Creative Fabrica. Let's try this one. I'm not sure that I like that, but you get the idea here. So I'll leave it as that for now. Um, let's find one that's got some go to Creative Fabrica here. And I'm going to go up into my uh, tools here. And under Font Cloud, let's go in and open up my Font Cloud. And I have uploaded a bunch of fonts into my Font Cloud as well. So let's find one that has maybe some swooshes on it that we can use. Um, let's go with, let's see. Ah, some of these have some really good uh, glyphs in them. So I want to find something here that has, let's try this dream wish and see what it has for the M for some, um, see if we can find a glyph that'll look good on this. So, oh boy, this is taking a while. Sorry. Go back in here. Maybe change this to Dream Wish and see what it looks like first before we change it completely. Dream Wish. Oh, that is cute. That doesn't look too terribly bad. Now, I was going to look and see if it had a glyph for that. Let's see. It actually looks the same, the M. Uh, well, let's show you some other ones here. I'll find another font, but I actually like that dream wish. We'll probably keep it as that, but let's find something like baby Valentina here, this one. And you'll see now a bunch of the glyphs at the end here. You see with the hearts. So let's go see what we have here. Let's change this to baby Valentina. And we'll try to remember dream wish because I like that, but um. I just want to show you how to use these glyphs. Baby Valentina. So you got Myers here. So let's scroll, get this moved down a little bit. Make it a little smaller. Get it right in the center there. So let's get a glyph for the S and see what they have for the M. So here is the S right here. So all you do is you click on it and right here it says character copied to clipboard. So then you go back into your Canva and you backspace the S and then control V. And now you have that beautiful glyph at the end. So let's see what they have for an M as well. Capital M. Go back up. No, 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 no. Here we go. Oh yeah, they have the M here with the heart. So just click on it, copy to clipboard, go back to your Canva, backspace the M, control V, and there you'd have your M on there if you wanted this font. I just wanted to show you how to do that. So now I'm gonna back up here because I wanna get back to the font that we had because I thought that was really cute right there. That one's pretty good. So I'm gonna leave that one. I want just wanted to show you how to use those glyphs and using your font cloud. So let's back this into the center here. And then um, you could put, let's put another text box in here and we'll write established 2025. And now I'm going to move this up and make it bigger so you can see it because we can't see it. And it came in with um, 
I believe it came in with white. There we go. So we changed it. Um, I think I have my cap lock on. Established 2025. And let's see what we can do here with effects. Get this in the center. Hit effects up here. And then we're going to go down to curve. And we'll make it smaller here. So, and then I'm going to make this smaller too, because it's just too big. And then you can see how you can really get that centered in here nicely on your design as well. So that is one way that you could do a monogram. So it's kind of cute that way. So now let's go and try another one. So I'll add a page here. And we, I have uploaded some other monograms here. So let's try this one. So here again is one that is just a standard. Let's make it a little smaller because maybe I'll add that circle around it here. Get that right in the center. Let's try to add this circle to it. See what we get here. Get that all the way up and all the way over. And then this, send that to the back. I hit position and to the back. Now I can get a hold of this one in the center here. I can move this around. And again, um, you can make that as big as you want to get it to fit, but I don't want that touching there. So I think that's pretty good. So I'll add a text box here and just type in Myers and stretch this out so that we can see it. And again, um, we can still do here, grab this one, and I'll control C on that one, and I'm going to shrink it up, and then control V, and I'm going to move it down just a hair here so that we have more space. Let's see, I'm going to bring this one down. There we go. Now we have that, and you get the idea on how this works. Of course, this font is not a one that I would want to use is going to be too small. So let's go and find something else here. Maybe make it all capitalized would help. So add a text box here and cap. It was all caps. And then let's get a different font in there, of course. So let's go and find something. Let's try this one. Well, that doesn't look too bad. So let's stretch this one out just to give you an idea of how this works. And again, you can split the monogram if it has those tabs on it to make it bigger so that you can do this any way that you want. So now if this was to be an SVG for cutting, you could leave it at this and click download and um here, download, and then you could change this to an SVG, and you could download this for your cutting machine just like that. Or if you're going to be doing sublimation, you could add some color to this. So let's go and see what we can do. Some things you can change the color on, some things you can't. So let's go down here to Duotone, and let's find maybe a green, maybe, or something. So you could change the color on that could change the color of um, your letters here for Myers. Oh, you could change that and see what you could do with this. You could change the color. You'd have to change both of these because see, these are separate now because we spliced them together. So then you could go back and change the color on that as well. Um, so you have to go into Duotone again for that or use the filters. So it didn't give you any other color options. Uh, let's see. You could do and change these and again, change that one. So you see how you can change colors as well. And then maybe change Myers back to black or whatever you choose to do would be up to you. So I hope this has helped. This has given you some ideas of how to do monograms using Creative Fabrica uh, elements and then bringing it in to use for what you need to use it for. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel for other videos. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel, see links below and leave me a comment.